Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to see building greatest and smallest numbers. This is one of the learning outcome in class 5 under the number concepts. In class 5, we will be dealing with large numbers, 7 digit and 8 digit numbers. And to build greatest and smallest numbers, we will be doing both without repeating the given set of digits and also by repeating the given set of digits. Let us go into the details of the video. We will be first building greatest 7 digit numbers without repeating the digits. The rule is to form the greatest number, arrange the digits in decreasing order or descending order of from big to small. The key to remember is to form the biggest number, arrange the digits from big to small. So here we are given with 7 digits 5, 2, 1, 0, 6, 4 and 3. With this we should build the greatest 7 digit number by using all the digits once that is without repeating the digits. So the rule is to arrange the digits from big to small. The biggest digit over here is 6. So first write down the number 6. Next, the number 5 is smaller than 6. The next smallest number is 4. 3 is smaller than 4. 2 is smaller than 3. 1 is smaller than 2. And 0 is the smallest number. And how do you read large numbers? By adding periods or commas. So how do you read this number? It is 65,43,210. So this is the largest 7 digit number formed using the given set of 7 digits. Next let us do. Building smallest 7 digit number without repeating the digits. The rule is to arrange the digits in increasing order. To form the smallest number, we have to arrange the digits in ascending order or increasing order or from small to big. Let us take the same 7 digits now. Now we will have to arrange these digits from small to big to form the smallest 7 digit number. Which is the smallest number over here? We know 0 is the smallest number but we cannot begin a number with 0. So the number which is bigger than 0 here is 1. So you will begin the number by putting 1 in the highest place value and 0 will be moved to the next position. Then the remaining digits will be arranged from small to big. So let us arrange it now. Next it is 2 is bigger than 0 and 1. Next it is 3, 4, 5 and 6 is the biggest number. And again here also it is a large number. So add the periods or commas and you get the smallest 7 digit number that can be formed using these 7 digits to be 23,456. Now let us move on to the next topic, building greatest 7 digit number with repeating digits. Let us see the rule for this. To form the greatest number, arrange the digits in decreasing order. We know this rule. Now for using the repeating digits, we have to repeat the largest digit as many times as necessary. So let us consider the example of 5 digits given over here. 3, 2, 5, 6 and 4. We have 5 digits over here. But we will have to build the greatest 7 digit number. So we need 2 more digits. So the rule is to repeat the largest digit as many times as necessary. So which is the largest digit over here? It is 6 and we have to repeat the digit 6 for 2 more times to make a 7 digit number and the remaining digits will be arranged in the decreasing order. So 5 is the number which is smaller than 6, 4 is smaller than 5, 
3 is smaller than 4 and 2 is the smallest number and you get 66,65,432 to be the greatest 7 digit number that can be formed using these 5 digits. So here hope you have understood what we have done. So here 6 is the largest number and we have repeated it 2 more times to frame a 7 digit number. Next let us see how to build smallest 7 digit number with repeating digits. The rule is to form the smallest number arrange the digits in increasing order. We know this rule and then you will have to repeat the smallest digit as many times as necessary. So this is the new rule that you have to remember. So here let us consider the same set of 5 digits and now we are going to frame the smallest 7 digit number using these 5 digits. So we need 2 more digits to make a 7 digit number and we need the smallest number so we need to repeat the smallest digit as many times as necessary which is the smallest digit over here. 2 is the smallest digit so we have to repeat 2 2 more times to make the 7 digit number. Now arrange the remaining digits in increasing order. So it will be 3, 4, 5 and 6. Add the periods to read the large number. So you will get 22,23,456 to be the smallest 7 digit number that can be obtained using these 5 digits. Dear viewers, hope you have understood the rule to frame smallest and biggest numbers using repeating digits. The same rule applies to 8 digit numbers also. So let us move on to doing some exercise to build the greatest and smallest numbers without repeating the digits. Here we will be dealing with both 7 and 8 digit numbers in the examples. So first example is we have 7 digits and we will have to form the greatest 7 digit number. So as per rules arrange the digits from big to small. So it will be 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 1 and 0. Now we will have to add the periods appropriately and you will get 86,54,310 to be the greatest 7 digit number. Next to form the smallest 7 digit number, we have to arrange these digits in increasing order that is from small to big. Though 0 is the smallest number, we cannot begin a number with 0. So we will begin to arrange from 1 and 0 will be in the next position and the remaining digits will be from small to big. So it will be 3, 4, 5, 6 and 8 is the largest number. Add the periods appropriately to read the large number and the smallest 7 digit number that can be framed using these 7 digits is 10,34,568. Let us move on to the next example where we are given with 8 digits. So we have to frame the greatest 8 digit number using these 8 digits. So let us begin to arrange the digits from big to small. So it is 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So you should add the periods appropriately and you can read the large number to be 9 crore 76 lakh 54,321 is the largest 8 digit number that can be formed using these 8 digits and this is the method of without repeating the digits. See you can see that you are using each of these digits only once. Now we have to frame the smallest number by arranging from small to big. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 9. Add the periods and you get the number 1 crore 23 lakh 45,679 to be the smallest 8 digit number that can be formed using these 8 digits. Let us do one more example for framing the largest 7 digit number with these given 7 digits. 
to bring the greatest number or the biggest number, arrange the digits from big to small. So it will be 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 0. Add the periods appropriately and you get the number to be 76,54,320 to be the greatest 7 digit number. Next for the smallest number, arrange the digits from small to big. So it will be 2, 0, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Add the periods appropriately and you get 20,34,567 to be the smallest 7 digit number that can be formed using these 7 digits. Next we will be doing sums to form the greatest and smallest 7 and 8 digit numbers using repeating digits concept. Before that, dear viewers, if you like the content of my video, please click the subscribe button as it definitely adds value to my channel. Do not forget to tap the bell button and choose the all option because it will give you regular notifications of all updates that I make in my channel. First, we are going to do building greatest and smallest 7 digit numbers by repeating the digits. So here we are given with 5 digits, we will have to bring the greatest 7 digit number using these 5 digits. To form the greatest number, the rule is to repeat the greatest number as many times as necessary. Here it is a 5 digit number, so repeat the greatest number 2 more times to frame a 7 digit number and arrange the remaining digits from big to small. So you will have 6, 5, 1 and 0. Add the periods appropriately and you will get 88,86,510 to be the greatest number. Next, to frame the smallest 7 digit number, we will have to repeat the smallest digit as many times as necessary. In this case, the smallest digit is 0. So, we will be repeating 0 2 more times and arrange the remaining digits from small to big. So, it will be 5, 6 and 8. Add the periods appropriately and you will get the smallest 7 digit number to be 10 lakh. 568. Next question is we have 6 digits and we will have to frame the greatest 7 digit number. So apply the same rule and repeat the greatest number 9 one more time because it is a 6 digit number which is given. We will have to frame a 7 digit number. So you have to repeat the largest number one more time and arrange the remaining digits from big to small. So it will be 5, 4 and 3. Add the periods appropriately and you will get 99,76,543 to be the greatest 7 digit number. To form the smallest 7 digit number, repeat the smallest digit 3 one more time and arrange the remaining digits from small to big. So it will be 6, 7 and 9. Add the periods appropriately and you will get 33,45,679 to be the smallest 7 digit number. Next, we are going to do building the greatest and smallest 8 digit numbers by repeating the digits. Here, we are given with 6 digits and we have to build the greatest 8 digit number. As the answer, applying the rules taught so far, the answer will be 5 crores 55 lakh 43,210. Next, what is the answer for the smallest number? The smallest 8 digit number that can be built is 1 crore 2,345. Let us do one more sum to evaluate our understanding. Here we have 7 digits and you have to build the greatest and smallest number. The answer for the greatest 8 digit number is 9 crore 98 lakh 76,542. And the answer for the smallest 8 digit number that can be built using these 7 digits is 2 crore 24 lakh 56,789. With that, we have completed the topic building greatest and smallest number without repeating digits and with repeating digits which is the topic under the learning outcome comparing numbers. These are all the other learning outcomes and I have explained about each of them in my class 5 learning outcome video. And dear viewers, each of these concepts are dealt with in separate videos and links to all the related videos are given below in the description box. Now, if you like the content of my video, give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and please do provide your valuable comments in the comment section. Thank you for watching my video. See you again in the next video with more useful content.